Good morning, everyone. We are very happy to welcome to the Swedish delegation, headed by Speaker Vesterlin. Our parliamentary league of friendship, formerly closed, formerly consisted of the diet members of the Liberal Democratic Party under the leadership of its former chairman, Mr. Taro Nakayama. We have taken the opportunity of your visit to make a fresh, part, fresh start by making a few changes, and now we have 24 members from various parties in both houses of the National Diet. I myself chair the league. At the end of last year, I visited Swedish with Mr. Okamura here. And uh, let me speak uh, best of him. I'm happy to see him again this time as chairman of the parliamentary league. Considering the, considering the traditional friendly relationship between our countries, I hope that we'll be able to have an exchange of views on matters of common interest. Now, allow me to introduce my fellow members of the team who are here this morning. Mr. Takao Fujii of the Sunrise Party of Japan, serving as Chief Director. Mr. Henzo Okumura of the Democratic Party of Japan, serving as Secretary General. Mr. Takeo Kawamura of the Liberal Democratic Party. Ms. Ms. Shino Aiha of the Democratic Party of Japan. Mr. Mito Hakimawa of your party. Of your party. <laughs> now, I'd like to thank His Excellency, Mr. Stefan Fahl, Stefan Nolen, Swedish Ambassador to Japan, for his excellent work on maintaining a good relationship between our countries. I hope that you enjoy the remainder of your program in Japan and find it interesting. Last but not least, I would like to express my sincere congratulations on the marriage between Her Royal Highness Crown Princess Victoria and Mr. Daniel Westman, which will very soon be celebrated. And on this happy note of looking ahead to a promising future, I will close these remarks. Thank you for your kind attention. Now I call up the speaker. Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind remarks. Uh, we do appreciate very much to be here in Japan and this breakfast meeting. We have a very good relation between Sweden and Japan since a long time and we appreciate friendship association because they broaden the contacts between parliaments and countries and make a much better continuity uh, over the years for our relations. With me here, oh, please. え、
の活動についても私どもは大変な評価をしております国会議員そして国と国をより近しくするのが議連だと思っているからであります長年にわたって大変良い関係を継続できたことを嬉しく思います We may here today this very morning from the far right Sarah Haig, press secretary Then we have the ambassador, the Swedish ambassador to Japan Then Lars, this is Lars Lindborg, group leader for the moderate party, the biggest party in the coalition in the Swedish parliament. On my left side, I have uh, Mr. Romeo Lander, senior member of the Social Democratic Party in the Swedish parliament. The Social Democratic Party is the biggest party in opposition, but even in the parliament. And then Mr. Henrik Dunemo from the Swedish embassy. 今朝は私の方の側の代表団でありますけれども、一番皆様から向かって左側からありますけれども、ヘッグであります、国会の副長室のスタッフであります、その隣が駐日鉄道連大使のモレン大使であります、そしてその隣がアラージュ・リンドクラウド議員であります、連立与党の最大の党であります、恩恵党のグループリーダーであります。そして私の方のこちら側の左,左側派がオランデル議員であります。野党の最大の党であります社民党。社民党は政令議会の中でも最大の政党でありますが、その幹部議員であります。その隣がグルーレモ講師であります。Mr. Ronnie Olander and myself are also members of the Swedish Japanese Friendship Association. And that we therefore, of course, really appreciate this meeting and look for a very frank and good discussion this morning because this is a way of uh, uh, getting a better contact and more information between our two countries, our two friendship associations, and there is so much to be done. オランダル議員と私はスウェーデン日本友好議員連盟のメンバーでもあります。ということで皆様とともに大変率直に良い議論ができればと今日は期待をとしております。このようなその意見交換の場を持つということは両国の間でさまざまなその情報を交換する、また友情を培うという意味でも大変良いことだと評価しております。